Hi, in this video I have the Mi Smart Standing Fan 2 Lite and I'm going to quickly unbox it, build it and then most importantly I'm going to take an SPL measure because over here I have a sound pressure level meter and I'm going to measure the fan and see if it is as quiet as it's advertised to be. Right, in the box you'll get the base, then there is a fastening screw with a tool, there's an extension arm, the fan unit itself, Right, the front grill and blade is here. I will need to open this, which I'll do shortly. These two retaining pieces for the fan, and then a little screw here for the front grill. Right, so the first step is to align your post onto the base here. There's a screw hole in there, and this screw feeds through the base into the hole over there. Now this can only go on one way because there is a space here, and then a lip over there. So I seat this. As you can see, if it's wrong, it won't go in until I turn it, and it goes in all the way. Now I flip this upside down and I put this large screw inside there. I take the Allen key which is provided and I turn this until it's tight. Right, it is now tight. Now at this point I'm going to put the upper stand on the lower stand. If you did not want this to be a floor standing fan and you wanted it to be a desk standing fan, then you wouldn't have used this. You would have put this piece directly into the base making it much shorter. So in my case, I want it to be a floor standing fan, so I'm going to screw this onto this stand. Right, so in my case, you can see that I've fitted it, and now I'm going to start with the grill. Right, so now I'm going to fit the grill onto the fan unit. Now in order to open this up, I'm just twisting it, and there I can remove the bottom from the top, and remove this packaging material, and there's the fan, which I'm going to put to one side. Now, I just need to work with the bottom grill first. Right, the bottom grill fits over here. How I know it's a bottom grill is because there's this gap here. And you'll notice there are two recesses there and two wider recesses on that side, which correspond to the two narrow ones on this side and the two lips over here. It can only fit one way. So if it is not going in, just turn it until it goes in. Uh, you'll also notice there's an arrow over here. The arrow is showing you upwards, which is pointing away from the base. Now I can push this in firmly and now I can take the retaining nut and just screw it in clockwise. Right, I make that quite tight. Now these two flanges over here align with the two gaps over here. So it seats in, you will see all the threads. Notice the threads are showing themselves and now all I need to do is put this retaining nut over here. This is reverse threaded, so we are going anti-clockwise to lock it. This is a safety mechanism, so when the fan spins clockwise, the nut can never loosen because the nut tightens anti-clockwise. Right, locate the only threaded section on the top cover which faces down and aligns to the hole which is on the bottom of the back grill. So there are several of these raised sections and they slide into these spaces all along the back grill. Right, I just place the top grill on the bottom grill. And all I need to do now is turn it. So it is now locked in place. And then I just need to turn it. When you turn it, you should see the threaded hole there. If it is not showing itself, open the grill and try and reseat it. Right, using the small screw that came with the unit, I'm just inserting it in the hole. Then I'm using the back side of this Allen key, which happens to be a star screwdriver. And I just need to tighten that screw a little bit. I don't have to over tighten it, just until it gets tight and then I do one half turn. Right, your fan is now assembled. Time to turn it on. Right, now that the unit is assembled, it's plugged in. Immediately I can see there is a flashing orange light here, an LED, by the Wi-Fi symbol. Now on the side here there are five LEDs and there's a Wi-Fi symbol, a one, two, three and then a moon symbol which is actually your sleep. Right, to power it on I press over here, it makes a beep and there you can see the LED by number one is now on. That means this is speed one. If I want to increase the speed I press here showing the fan speed but there's also a moon which I'll explain shortly. So to increase the fan speed I press that once, it takes me to level 2, I press it again, I'm now at level 3, significant air is blowing on the side of the unit, you might even be able to hear it. 
Now to reduce the fan speed, it, as you can see, I press it again. So it actually goes back through the menu. One, two, three, one, two, three, right. So I'm gonna leave that on number one. Now, if I want the fan to rotate 180 degrees continuously, I press that button and then it will rotate 180 degrees continuously. Over here, I have a delay timer. If I want the fan to automatically shut off, but only after one hour, I can press this button over here. It gives me increments of one hour, two hour, or three hours. Let me show you how it works. At the moment, we can see the fan is on level one. There you can see there is a one there, and there's a little blue LED there that is on. Now, I'm going to press the timer button, and notice that all the LEDs are off now. That is telling me there's been no delay timer set. If I press it once, notice that the blue light here has come on for number one. If I press it again, there's number two. And if I quickly press it again, there's number three. So at the moment, what this means is that it'll take three hours before the unit automatically shuts off. As you can see, it's gone back to number one, telling me that it is on fan level one, meaning it's blowing a light breeze at the moment. If I want to quickly check what time the fan will be going off i can press this once and it's showing me that this fan is shutting off in three hours right so to go through that again if i want to have the fan on level two i press the fan speed button but if i wanted to shut off after one hour on level two i press the timer button and i press it again and again until it says one for one hour now this fan will automatically shut off after one hour if I want to cancel it, I press here and I press it until all the lights go off. Now the lights are all off, so it will no longer automatically shut off. It will stay on indefinitely until I manually switch off the unit. Right, finally, there is a sleep mode which is available on this unit. So what I need to do is I press the power on. It's currently on fan level 2, speed level 2. Now over there is a sleep mode. What I need to do is I need to press and hold this button in order to get to the second menu, which there you can see it's got a moon. It's a sleep mode and notice that LED when I depress this. Right, so that LED has come on now and immediately the fan has slowed down its velocity. So now it's what they call a sleep mode. What it does is it slows down the fan. It's also quieter. And then every now and then it ramps up the fan speed and then slows it down again so if you're a light sleeper you might notice that the breeze changes from time to time so every couple of seconds what it does is it actually increases the velocity of the fan and then it goes back down it's not a harsh breeze that's on you it's a light breeze but then it does increase it a little bit and then decrease it automatically so if i go to level three while on sleep mode yes the breeze is a bit faster but not as fast as if the sleep mode was off. The sleep mode is off, that's full power. If I put the sleep mode on, it slows it down a bit and then it has a lighter breeze, but as I said, it ramps up the velocity every now and then. Right, and just to be clear, sleep mode on level three blows harder than sleep mode on level two, which blows harder than sleep mode on level one. However, direct breeze mode of just two, so basically fan level two, is quite similar to sleep mode breeze of number three. So if you want the lightest breeze, you'll have it on number one and then sleep mode of number one. So it's even a bit less than the normal fan speed of number one. But then keeping in mind that it will ramp up now and then while on sleep mode. To take sleep mode off, I just press and hold this button until the LED disappears. Right, now you can connect a smartphone to control this unit and this little indicator over here is what we need to concentrate on. So if it is flashing orange or blinking orange, it means it's a waiting connection. So at the moment, in this case, there's nothing connected to this fan. As you can see, it's blinking orange. If it is just blue, it means it's connected. If it just stays orange, it means it couldn't connect. Now, in order to do this, you will need to set up a profile on your phone and you will need to get the app. Right, so in this case, you just need to search for Xiaomi Home or Xiaomi Fan Remote and you'll see the Xiaomi Home app is there. I've already installed it, so if I open the app, 
I have to sign in. You'll need to give your phone number, your location, or your email, depending on what information you want to give it. Then you'll say plus, and then you'll say add device. Now, it also gives you the option to scan. Now, I actually recommend using the scan button because there is so many devices which are in the list, and it can be quite tricky. So I just say scan, and what you're going to be scanning is in the manual, you'll see there's a QR code for this particular product. So I'm just scanning the QR code, which is in the manual. Right, so immediately it takes me to this screen. It's found the device Mi Smart Standing Fan 2 Lite. Now, there's lots of fans there. That's why I say it's better to just uh, use the scan function. All right, so what it's asking me to do is reset the device. So it's asking me to press and hold the power button and the fan speed button. And you need to press that until you hear a beep. Right, once you've reset it, then you should be able to scan for your device and you should be able to find it. Just make sure you've set the permissions correctly on the app. Right now you can see it doesn't find the fan. This is quite tricky. It seems like there's quite a few teething pains here. So just make sure you've set your permissions. It will need to have the permissions. Right, if your device is not working, then you can set it manually, connecting to the device directly to its Wi-Fi. Right, it is now connecting to the device. Right, it is finally connected. Now it asks you to set the room. Right, this is the interface from the app. If you want to control the fan using the app, you can see that you can turn it off. You can set direct breeze or sleep mode, and then there's your fan speeds. Unfortunately, you do not have a graduated control. It is discrete, one, two, three. On the higher model fans, you can actually scroll this and get fine control, but not on this one. Then you can switch your oscillation on or off. That's if the fan is rotating. And then here's that delayed turn off. You can now do the delayed turn off anytime from zero to eight hours, which gives you more fine control than the control on the fan body itself and then you can also switch the indicator lights off and then also the sound maybe you don't like that tone you can also have the child lock all right i did spend quite a long time getting the phone to connect to the fan it was much better once i used precise location with this off i had more problems maybe it was just a random error but just check that if you're having problems Right, so now what I'm going to do is measure the noise level of the fan and compare it to a regular fan. Right, so I have the me standing fan light next to another fan and I'm just going to measure the sound pressure level. Right, so the sound pressure level in the room is about 31 decibels. Right, I've measured one meter away from the fan. I'm in the horizontal plane, so the noise level is about 33.7 decibels. That is much lower than the advertised 38 decibels, so it has met the spec. Right, I've now set the fan to blow at level 2, and the noise level is about 38 decibels. The noise level is about 53 decibels for the highest fan level. Now I'm going to compare the noise to this fan over here. I've set it to its lowest level. The lowest level is around 40 decibels. The highest level is at about 48.8 decibels. Right, so this fan is definitely quieter when it's on its lowest setting when compared to a regular fan. However, at full power, the regular fan is actually quieter than the me standing fan. Keeping in mind that one would need to measure the amount of airflow. I can say from experience that when I have set this on the low setting, I can feel the breeze in the room. On the high setting, this is actually more powerful than this bigger fan. So yes, this is louder, but it actually has more airflow. And it is useful if you're a light sleeper because the low setting has that lower decibel value. Right, so to wrap up and give you my final thoughts, the first thing is, is it quiet? Yes, I measured it. I have kept this fan on while I sleep. You can barely hear it. It is quiet. Even though it's quiet, doesn't mean that there isn't a breeze. There's definitely a breeze which can be felt in the room, even if you are three meters away from the fan. I don't really like the sleep function. It ramps up the air and then it goes back to the low level and then it ramps it up. That's actually quite disturbing for me. Not sure why they do that. The next thing is this grill. One night it was making quite a lot of noise and then I came to the grill and I just tapped it and I noticed that there's a bit of noise that is coming from this grill and I will actually demonstrate it for you. Right, so I'm going to put the mic next to the grill and I'm going to tap on the grill and you should be able to hear a little bit of a rumble, a vibration noise.
Now it shouldn't make that noise and yes the screw is in and this has been installed correctly. What I'll have to do is just put a little bit of double sided, thin double sided tape just to dampen that sound. So in my case I'm taking some double sided tape, it's a thin double sided tape and I'm just going to put some on the edges here to dampen that vibrational noise. And I'm taking this and putting it on the edges here. It won't be seen when the front grill is in the closed position. It doesn't have to be sticky on both sides. It's really just a dampener. So I'm not trying to make it sticky on both sides. Right, now I'm going to reseat this. Just hiding that a little bit. It's tighter as I want to turn this. Yeah, that's better. Right, so now it's, uh, it's actually tight. Right, so I'm just reinserting the screw. There's no more vibrational noise. So if that happens to you, you can also just give it a bit of a repair. Now my next gripe is the fan spins a little bit off center. So if you have a look on the inside there, you can see that it wobbles a little bit. That wobbling creates a bit of vibration and that adds to the noise. Now the next thing is the fan is quite short. For example, from the bottom of the grill to the base is only 63 centimeters. Other fans have the ability to extend. This fan unfortunately does not. As you can see, one has to rotate it into a lock position. There is no way to extend it. Although this fan seems to be a bit faulty because actually this is loose. If you look here, it looks like they haven't glued this properly. This is probably just a fault on this particular unit. I'm still going to keep the fan, but I will have to re-glue this. So if this happens to yours, you'll just need to insert some glue here and put it back. In my case, it's not worth sending this back to the supplier because I'll just re-glue it. I don't feel like pairing a whole other phone to a new device. So in my case, I'm just going to take some super glue and just put it on the inside here. Then there is a line here, a recess, and then there is a lip that runs along there. So I've just got to align it. So to sum up, is this a quiet fan? Most definitely. Is it powerful even though it's got a small size? Most definitely. Well, I think the construction could be a little bit better, especially the grill and the pipes as I showed. All right, thanks for watching.